Well, hey, this is uh, Chase Whip, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to mask images in, Co in uh, Kino, which is uh, Apple's wonderful presentation software. So I have this nice slide, and uh, I got this graphic, and you're noticing that it has a gray circle around the uh, area, and then it's got white here, and I'd like to get rid of the white. Now, what's really nice is it's white continuously, so it's going to be very easy to mask. The other image of my wife and myself, I want to mask it with a shape and do a circle. So I'll do both of these. Uh, let me show you the result. Uh, this is what I want to have, and that looks pretty darn cool. It's just a nice circular gra uh, graphic and uh, a mask over my uh, image there. So let's see how to do that. Uh, let's do this uh, left one first. I'm going to click on the image. And then I'm going to open up the format menu. You're not seeing that, but it's in the top right. What that will open up is all the options for the image once you've highlighted or selected it. And you can tell it's selected by the little white dots that are around the image. So what I want to do is a instant alpha mask. And it makes part of the image transparent. That's exactly what it does. So I've got it highlighted. I just click on instant alpha once. Now I get this menu down here, so it says click on a color. I'm going to choose white to make it transparent. Drag to make similar cop colors transparent. So the color I want transparent is the white, not the blue or anything, or not the gray, as I have it pinpointed there. But I want a white, so I can just click, and I'll probably click and drag. So I'm going to click and drag, and it's you can see another little circle below me, but I don't want to drag it too much because it was actually, do you see how it's eliminating this uh, gray area? So uh, let me reset it. I'm just going to click, actually click once. And it just did it. It picked all the white area all the way around as one color and it's perfect. So that's done. And now I'm left with a transparent area where there was white. This is slightly gray. It looks white, but it's a little bit of gray. And it got rid of the white. And now I'm done. So I can click right in the center and that's good. So now that's great. So now all I want to do is click on the image. And uh, in this instance, I don't need the format menu at all. So you can see the full image. So it's selected with the dots. So I've selected it once. I'll go under the format menu. You're not going to see that. But then I'm going to go down to image. Okay, I'm under the format menu. Down to image. And then you can see mask with shape. And you can choose a rectangle, a rounded rectangle, an oval. That's what I want is oval or a circle. There are all sorts of different shapes. Okay, but let me just do oval. Boom. Now it's made it a little small. So I'm going to hold the shift key while I drag this top left black uh, dot or square. So I'm holding down the shift key. And it's going to keep it in proportion. So I'll just go right up to the edge about there is probably good. Then I'll come down to the bottom right one and drag it equally down to the bottom at a 45 degree angle. And, and I'm going to adjust it just slightly right there is good. Okay, so now I've got this circle and it's uh, going to mask out this area. All I have to do is click done. Okay, pretty awesome. So. Uh, I've eliminated the white area here, and I've mashed this image with a shape. And again, how to do that, uh, the, the image over here, just go to Format, and then go to Image. And I could edit now, but you can mask with shape. So that's how to do that, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and hope it helped you. Take care.